the sort of strategy from the informatica support uh, i'll be talking about the re reference fps used in the java transformation so uh, agenda the presentation will be the oh, how the overview of the java transformation reference fps and usage of the reference fps in the java transformation So what are reference APIs? The reference APIs are the method in Java transformation to define the behavior of the transformation during the execution time. There are there are a number of built-in APIs in the Java transformation which actually defines the execution behavior. Commit. Commit API is used by the Java transformation when Java transformation is selected as the active transformation and the scope is set to transaction when you use it, use the commit it generates a transaction generate row generate row is again used when it, the jar transformation is set to an active transformation and cannot be used in the pass passive transformation when when called explicitly the generate row creates an output row with the, all the specified values in the output row so it can create multiple output rows for a single input row it will it will create um, multi it can create um, depending on the depending on the logic it will create a uh, different rows fill station if you are validating any any certain logic you can feel the station after validating the logic it will cause the failure of the session get in row type the, this is configured in the active jar transformation and need to have the update strategy set the, it returns the in the type of the row the row can be insert update delete or rejected get metadata so the, it retrieves the Java transformation metadata at runtime. So this you can store the Java transformation in Java transformation in metadata. You can retrieve the metadata using get metadata. There is a function set metadata to set the metadata at Java runtime. Increment error count increments the error count for the session. If the error count reaches the error threshold for the session, the session fails is null is to verify the value of the input field of the row log error and log info writes on error or info messages to the log session log rollback if you are committing the transaction the generated rollback transformation is used to again in active transformation and used only to roll back the transformation set null set the values of an output field to a null value it can be used in both active as well as passive transformation set output row type it's 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 used in connection with the get output row type where your update strategy has to be set and the met flags rows can be set as insert update delete store metadata as we have spoken about get metadata the store metadata is the key and the value of the metadata has to be stored you can retrieve using the get metadata method let's look at the usage of this so i have a jet java transformation So if you go to the Java code, I can use is null method to verify the column uh, username is valid or not. Before that, there are three ports, which are three input ports and three output ports configured in the Java transformation. I have two generate rules APIs called. One, 
what I am doing is I want I am doing encoding of the password so after the encoding of the password I am generating a row so for a one input row I am encoding the password and generating a row and after I I am using another API called decode password and again generating a row. So for one input row, I am generating a two output rows. One with the encrypted password, one without the encrypted password. Let's look at the output of this. The output of this is in a flat file. So oh, there are two rows, one with the en one with the encrypted value of the password and another with the with the en decoded value of the password. So for each input row, you can generate multiple output rows using the generate row API. Uh, this is this is the active transformation API. You cannot be used in the passive transformation of JAR transformation. Similarly, the commit you are processing processing a uh, hundred rows. You want to commit at every second row, so you can create a static variable and process it. And once you are process process second row processes two, you can use a commit, and again move into the again next two rows will be committed. Similarly, if the validation of the user username fails, I can use an API fail session to fail the session, and and the validation can be used. So summary overview of the built-in APIs that can be used in Java transformation. And the valid APIs which are act can be used in the active and passive Java transformation. You can point to the documentation pause into documentation for Java re transformation API references. You can send your feedback at support videos at informatica.com or you can follow us on Twitter at slash informatica support. Thank you.